So here's an interesting technique that I came across while I was debugging my CGA card. I wanted to be able to see just the signals that were happening at the same time as the screen is in the active area. Uh, in other words, mask out the signals that were happening during the sync and uh, blanking areas so that they wouldn't interfere with the picture on the screen. So what I've got here is an AND gate and this yellow wire here is connected to the display enable line on the CGA card. And again I've got a, a probe line here so that I can probe uh, various uh, lines on the, on the CGA card. But if we look at the monitor now you can see there's a, 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 a bright area and a dark area with kind of fuzzy edges. So that's happening at about 60 hertz. So this is actually picking up signals from uh, the um, power line, um, all the stray 60 hertz signals that are, are floating around. And of course, they're not quite in sync with the uh, uh, refresh rate of the, uh, uh, of the TV picture which is why they're, they're gradually moving up the screen. But you can see all the, uh, the sort of fuzziness uh, uh, and inter interference uh, patterns that's, uh, that's happening around the edges of that signal, especially when I, when I touch the wire and uh, my body acts as a, an antenna to pick up all sorts of signals. Um, so we can see, we can essentially use the, the, the TV as a, a primitive uh, 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 radio signal receiver. And this is happening because the, the AND gate that I'm using here is a 74HC series, which is CMOS technology, which uses um, a field effect transistor, which has a, a, a gate with a very high impedance, so very weak signals can, uh, can affect it one way or the other. Um, so that's, that's uh, some, some fun little, uh, little interference patterns going on there. And then if I probe various lines on the uh, on the, on the uh, CGA card, we can we can see some uh, uh, some fun patterns happening. So I'm just probing the the lines of the um, CRTC here at the moment. So there's some row addresses, and um, let's see there's some uh, some memory address lines. You can see how those uh, occur in relation to the, uh, um, the position on the screen. And uh, I was poking around with uh, with various bus signals, which are, which are kind of fun, um, until I accidentally touched. Uh, I don't know whether it was the the plus 12 volt line or the minus 12 volt line on the uh, on the bus and uh, broke the. Uh, the, the AND gate chip that I was using. Fortunately, I didn't break the CGA card at the same time. It's a bit dangerous. So these are just the, the memory chips that I'm poking at now. And you can see there's some uh, uh, some interesting colors going on because I've got color burst enabled here. So uh, it's kind of like circuit bending, but with, uh, with pictures instead of sounds. Oh, and I've, uh, it looks like I put some data into, into the uh, CGA memory there, so that's a, uh, that's a fun little thing. Anyway, 